Hi everyone, welcome to this video tutorial. In this video tutorial, we will be learning about how you can have an experiment on flight delays on Microsoft Azure Machine Learning Studio. So the very first thing when you come into your home, you actually see your experiments, the author, the status, the last usage, and the projects. So you have all the information that you do read for you to go on with your experiments on the Left hand side you have your project section, experiments, web services, notebooks, datasets, print model and all your settings. The very first thing that we need to do in this project is that you need to click on the very new section, click on the blank experiment. And on the blank experiment, the very first thing is you have to create a name so that you can, you know, have all the information right into your home screen whenever you want it. So for the flight delay, yeah, let's be okay. flight delay experiment. Since we are dealing with a flight delay experiment, the very first thing of any experiment is that we need to have the data sets, right? So let's search for data sets so for this one i'm going to use data set provided by azure so flight delay yes we do have here uh data sets let's drag here and let's just explore what the data sets is all about right <coughs> so you do have your year your month the day of month the day of week carrier region airport id destination airport id departure time departure delay departure delay trs arrival time arrival delay and cancelled right so in this section we will be doing the experiment the very first the second thing actually we need to have the you know what other things that we really need to have so i'm going to drag the select columns right so yeah select columns from data set so connect the data set to your this section and it should show you the right sign that means you haven't selected any of the column selector launch the column selector and you should select you know like whatever things that are really important for you like uh, year is important month day of week Day of year, yes, this is important. This is important. Yes, this is important. And this is not so, but this is also important. And, and this is not, this is, and this is right. Mm, yes, should be okay. For experiment otherwise we would do further changes so we have done and the very next step is that you have to split the data you know for training purpose and other purpose so split data partition so drag and connect your data set to here for the fraction I'm going to use like you know um, 80% sorry 80% of you know the data would be in train and then be crested so for the training purpose I'm going to use a train data model train data Train model. So for the train model, I'm going to connect the data set to here. Okay. On train model, right? And just a second. For the train model, I'm going to do this, and I have I need to have an you know algorithm to make sure that all the work should be done properly so for this experiment i'm used to i'm going to use two class boosted you know 
yes this is perfect model for you to predict the flight delay so let's just connect this one to this if you can't see the screen let me just zoom out just connect this one and if connected and since we are going to train this model we are going to connect the 80 percent of the data to this model to have the training and then we are going to have a score model right to score how much we want it scroll the model second ah okay for the training model what actually what are the columns you're going to select train your data is going to click on the train model launch column selector and on the column selector you know your whatever your you know like you have to do so for this experiment I'm going to check the column for this connected and score model so let's just search the score model is here so I'm going to connect the remaining of the score model to here and since this is the remaining 20 uh, 80% uh, 20% of model and the remaining train model I'm going to connect it here now at the end we're going to evaluate our model so click on this drag and drop and connect the data here should be fine we have done anything that we have connected this one this one open this one also open let's just now hit the run button to see if it's okay with our model hmm. it's actually okay and it's finished the running so let's just have the final of our results so let's just visualize it Perfect. We do have a positivity of the methodology that we applied in the experiment. So, you know, we do have an accuracy. And uh, for further, you know, like to have information, you click on the score model, you know, click on the visualize code data set, visualize it, and you can have all the details about each and everything that's been really important to you. And at the end to make sure that your model is okay is how you can do that or understand that is that just let me show you how you can understand that your model is okay or it just needs to be changed perfect so this is a graph actually this is positive negative you know that if if your blue line is in the middle it's a 50 percent okay if it's in the left side of the screen if it's really great it's good if it's on the right side of the, or below the midpoint, it, it, it's actually need to be changed because at the end of the time, uh, you need to make sure that your model fits good to the experiment to make sure the output is quite good. So guys, this was my experiment on flight delay experiment. So make sure to hit the like button, subscribe to the channel and can't wait to meet you in the very next video.